Hello, how are you today? I am trying to recreate a butterfly pull chain, chain pull, that I did yesterday. Tried for the first time to do um, a butterfly with a ball chain. And pretty happy with how it turned out. And I've been trying a few times this morning here and it's not going all that great. So yesterday I used my Dutch pour paint. Today I'm using my flip cup paint. So the recipe is slightly different and the consistency is definitely different. So it's a little bit thicker. Um, I did add a little bit of water to it than I normally would do for a flip cup but not nearly as much as what I would use for a Dutch pour. I've covered my paint or my canvas in uh, base paint already, so I flooded it. I didn't really flood it. I put white on and then I spread it around with a palette knife. And it is pretty thin. So I'm gonna get right to it here. I have got a mix of Artist Loft Flow Black and Folk Art Color Shift Black. I think it's a gold flash or black flash. It has a little bit of a gold um, flash to it, shift to it. So this is what I'm going to use to draw out my butterfly. Um, and what I found was just doing a heart. This kind of uh, worked for me. You can go back in and just kind of fill that in with paint. This is inspired by Olga Sobi. She uses squeeze bottles, which would probably be better, but um, I didn't have, I don't have my flip cup paint in squeeze bottles. I only have my Dutch pour paint in squeeze bottles. Um, so the craft stick is gonna have to do. Oh, I guess I should do the bottom part. I'm going to do an upside down heart here. So as you can see, I'm not using a lot of a lot of paint. That's where I was getting into trouble personally was using too much paint. Um, when I pulled the chain around, if you're not super careful, it floods over the chain and then just, you know, kind of ruins the picture of it. And then you spend a lot of time soaking up extra paint, which I think you're gonna have to do anyway, but this cuts down when you don't go overboard. So this is a mix of uh, Artist Loft Brilliant Purple and DIY Galactic Purple. So it's really pretty and shiny. I'm going to put some on the tips of my wings. I'm going to keep my colors pretty simple today. Just to kind of hopefully get some kind of decent results from this. I've been struggling with it a bit today. <laughs> and then this is a mix of Artist Loft Turquoise and Pebeo Blue Iridescent Blue Green. I've done lots of feather pulls with string and it's one of my favorite things to do but you know it's not that it's not that easy a real tendency for anybody in any technique is to use too much paint and that's a real problem with just about every single technique 
I still use too much paint on occasions. And it's definitely easy to use too much paint with this technique, that's for sure. Okay. So I went out and bought a spool of ball chain from Michaels and then I just used uh, some of my jewelry nippers to cut them. This is a 10 by 10 canvas and I cut my chain about 16 inches long. I don't think it needs particularly to be that long but I'd rather it be too long than too short. So, so far I'm liking this better than what I was doing earlier because earlier my paint was really moving around, it was migrating, traveling way too far away from where I laid it down. So hopefully this is my solution. So I'm just laying the chain on the outside edge of that black paint. And I'm going to be bringing it and lifting it right where the body of the butterfly, right in the center. You can use your finger to hold it down if you want. And yeah, see how much paint is pooling? I got too much paint. So just go slowly, try to go smoothly. And try not to let that wave of paint go over the edge of the chain. If you can get it to the center like that, then at least you have a chance of soaking it up. And take a paper towel Olga's pretty smart she uses one of those little syringe things I don't have one but I might have to think about getting one That's way blacker than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. That has better color on that one. Okay, and just as a side note, I just wipe my chain off and um, throw it in a little cup of water that I have sitting here. And I'll rinse off, rinse them off right away when you're done, and they're good to go again. You could buy just a chain necklace ball chain necklace you don't have to buy the whole spool you know, just have to wipe it clean in between
Well, I think my butterfly yesterday was beginner's luck, but that's okay. And it wouldn't be any fun if we got it right the first time, the second time, and over and over and over again. <laughs> And as far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as an ugly butterfly. Prettiest butterfly in the world. Don't you love it when the pros make it look so easy? Was my torch. Sorry about the noise. I was saying how good it works. Probably doesn't work all that great now that I've dropped it on the floor. I hope this inspires you to give this a try. Okay, here are the right side up results for you. I don't mind the way the wings turned out. I think that part of the hole is, um, you know, pretty straightforward. I think the issue comes with what I'm doing in the center. <clears throat> Pardon me. The center of the butterfly. I don't know if I'm still using too much paint or if it's the way that I'm dragging my chain through the end there I'm, I'm not sure but I'll keep playing with it and hopefully get uh, moderately better at it anyway thanks for hanging out and have a good day bye